Hi, Intermediates. Welcome back. Today is Friendly Friday, Friday, April 10. So let's get ready to do our Friday workbook. Remember, you need to have your pencil ready. So get your pencil. When you find it, make sure you're holding it like the picture. Pinch and Birdie's beak at the bottom. Do you have it in your hand like the picture? All right, then you want to make sure you have your crayons too. Your crayons will go along with the color codes. R is for red, O is for orange, Y is for yellow, G is for green, B is for blue, P is for purple, G R for gray, B R for brown, P I for pink, B L for black, and W for white. Let's get started. The first page is our name page. So for Friday's workbook, we will have our grown up highlight our name and you will trace it. The first page says to mark each row with an X with the set that is different. So that means look in the box. Which box is different from the other two boxes? This has one, two, three rabbits. This has one, two rabbits, one chick. This box has one, two, three rabbits. Well, there's all rabbits in here, but not here. There's all rabbits here, but not here. So this box is different. We're going to start at the corner, draw a line up, and at the other corner, draw a line up. That's making an X because it's different. This row here has one duck with a bow, two duck with a bow, three duck with a bow. This box has one duck with a bow, two duck with a bow, three duck with a bow. They're the same. This box has one duck with a bow, two duck with a bow, and, well, that's not a duck. That's a cat. This box is different. Start at the top, slide down. Start at the top, slide down, and that's an X because it's different. It does not look like this box or this box. Down here, we have an egg with a pattern of circles, another egg with a pattern of circles, and an egg with no circles, but stars. This has an egg with circles, an egg with circles, an egg with circles. Hmm. This box has an egg with circles, an egg with circles, and an egg with circles. So these two are the same. This box is different. Let's cross it out. Good job. Here we have our maze. Help the rabbit get to the vegetables. Trace his path. So get your finger ready. Start at the rabbit's arrow. Over, down, over, down. Over gets the rabbit to the vegetable patch. We traced it with our finger. Let's draw it with our pencil. Over, down, over, down, over to the vegetable patch. If you need more time, hit pause, then hit play when you're ready for the next page. Here we have one, two, three, four, five rows. All rabbits, all chicks hatching from eggs, Easter baskets, Easter bonnets, and chicks. So this says color and count each set. Place the number on the line. So if this has one, two, three, four, five, we will write a five right here. If you don't know how to write the number, your grown up can trace it for you to make it easier. These have chicks hatching. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Your grown up can trace the six for you and you trace it over. Let's count the baskets. One, two, three. So we will write a three over here. Let's count the bonnets. One, two, three, four. We write a four here. Remember, you're learning how to write numbers. So right now your grown up can highlight it and you trace it. One, two, three chicks. We write a three here. Great job. Now when you're done, you can hit pause and color all the bunnies, all the chicks, all the Easter baskets, all the bonnets, and all the grown-up chicks. Here we have another page, spring signs. In each row, we're going to look for the pictures that are the same with each other. This row has two rabbits standing. He is not. So we are going to color the two things that look alike. You'll color this bunny and this bunny. Now let's look over here. We have a flower that's round and slanted. Here we have a flower that's straight up. And here's another flower that's straight up. So these two flowers you will color. Any color you want, but make sure they're the same color because they are the same. This row has a kite that's flying that way. You see, it goes towards the wind. This kite is just straight and it has lots of squares. This one has two triangles. This kite looks the same as the first one. So you are going to color this kite and this kite the same color. They are the same. In this row, you have a bug that's flying, a butterfly, and another butterfly. These two look the same. You will color this butterfly and this butterfly the same. Here we have our Easter basket. On this page, we are going to color what the color code says. So G is for green, B is for blue, O is for orange, P is for purple, R is for red, Y is for yellow, PI is for pink. And if you don't remember the color codes, that's okay. Your grown up will help you. You'll probably have to hit pause so you can finish coloring this great page. This page says to fill the Easter basket. Well, on this page, there are numbers with the baskets. So this is four, this is five, this is six, this is seven. Let's do this. Let's draw four eggs in this basket because it has a four. One, two, three, four. Let's go to this basket. It says five. Let's draw five Easter eggs in this basket. One, two, three, four, five. Great. This reads seven. Let's draw seven oval eggs in the basket. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great job. Move over to this basket. It reads six. Let's draw six oval eggs. One, two, three, four, 
five, six. Excellent job. Here we have a girl running in the rain. She needs to get to her umbrella. So we need to trace our path, find a way to the girl's umbrella. Then we will draw it. Find your way down the path so the girl can get her umbrella. Great job. You are doing such a fine job with your workbook today on Friday. This is the cutest bunny. It wins a prize for the best coloring. So color any color you want for this first place ribbon. Make sure your bunny's nose is colored pink and probably you'll want to color the bunny brown or white or black. You can hang it in your window when you're done. And that was the last page for Friday's workbook. I hope you had a good time because you did a great job today. See you soon and get ready for story time next.